Hi folks, this is Laura Chapel, and Wireshark version 3.1 is about to come out and unless you read the news, which is an option after you just reinstall a newer version of Wireshark, you may not be aware of a new feature that's uh, now available. This feature is a credentials feature, the ability to see credentials of the traffic. And let me show you what I mean by this. I've opened up a trace file called www.b001-hackerwatch.pcapng and that trace file is over and available in my trace file library. I'm in Wireshark version 3.1 and in fact the version that I'm in right now is a release candidate version. Now you're probably working on a later version than this, but don't try to do this with an earlier version of Wireshark. It's just not going to work. The feature's not there. But in 3.1 or later, you now have a new option there called credentials. So when I click on that, a window pops up and this window is showing me clear text credentials that were detected in the trace file. And we can see there's the packet number on the left hand side and it has a hyperlink. So if I click on the packet number, Wireshark jumps me to that packet number in the background. So it's jumping around in the background on my system. You'll also notice a username uh, area here. And if I click on the username, it will take me to the packet where that username appears. So clicking on the first username here, mark region, I can see in frame number 37, there's the username, but you'll notice that the packet number is listed as 44. So when I click on 44, it jumps me down to the password. So at this particular time in credentials, it's not listing both the username and the password. To see the username, you can simply click directly on the username itself to jump to that packet. So frame number 100 and uh, 90 something there we go down here 192 is anonymous and then if I want to go to the password submitted with anonymous I'll click on the packet number it's a nice new feature this works with uh, FTP passwords uh, pop 3 passwords IMAP passwords um, at this time and additional uh, options will probably be added over time with Wireshark so have fun